I almost just turned up the volume. <laughs> I was like, oh, I turned up the volume so uh, I can hear myself or something like that. It's not like I turned up the volume and you guys can hear me better or anything like that. Like a microphone. Like a microphone or something like that. Like a mic. I keep saying the same word three times. Headset. Mic. Alright, so as promised, the hall. The call. The hall. Alright, so I need to do this this way. I had a very, um... They had... I buy one, get one half off sale for their trades. So. Yeah. <laughs> I got three, though. But I, I couldn't afford more than that. And then it, I get weekly books. They still did not have something as killing the children 17. They had number 18, but not 17. That really pisses me off because I could have gotten both. I wouldn't have minded going a little over. Um, this one you'll be seeing a, the next video on. It's um, the. Marvel previews. I would have tried to do it on the iPad again, but it probably would have had no sound again. I swear to God, that time that I, I had that, that I did that on the iPad, I had the microphone turned on. Um, Green Lantern number five. They're just turning these, turning these out. I didn't find that. Apparently, it's continuing off from um, Green Lantern Future State. I'm probably just gonna wait for like Christmas or something and just ask for all of them, like my. I'll get one, the cheapest one, I'll ask one of my cousins, and the other one, I'll ask my grandmother, or both grandmothers, or something like that. I have a few open slots this week, this, this year. Uh, Amazing Fantasy, number one. There's no price tag on this. And there is, obviously. Oh, uh, they put it there? Yep. Yeah, it's right here. Uh, but this is the, this is Heroes Reborn done right. It's getting amazing reviews, and I was like, the hell with it. It's a five-issue miniseries, so it's not like I, um... Not like with Green Lantern, or this next one, where it's, um... Where, yeah, I, where I kind of broke my rule of getting into new series. Some of them I just can't. Some of them I'm just like, you know what, I, I like the creative team. I like the, the story looks interesting. So I finally got the correct issue of The Nice House on the Lake. Yeah, and you can see it looks nothing like issue one does. I'm still, I'm, I'm fine with that, I'm fine with that. I mean, it was the... There was a close call today where I was like, uh-oh, do they even have it? Because I was looking and I didn't see it. Then I finally found it. I almost had to get the, um, I think it was for number three. I almost had to get the cardstock variant, which is which is a dollar more. Because they want you to pay more for what you should get for the same price. Or, you know. No, same price, yeah. Um, Deadpool, Black, White, and Blood, number one. They're turning these out a mile a minute, too. Like, these Black, White, and Blood ones. But what's good about this is that it's not like they're coming out at the same time. It's not like Carnage came out at the same time as Deadpool. No. They did Car they did Wolverine, and then when that was over, they did Carnage, and then that was over, they did Deadpool. I think for uh Carnage, it came I think it came out the same week as the final issue for Wolverine. That's as bad as it's as bad as, that's as bad as it's gotten. And then Batman Reptilian Book Two. I feel like I'm forgetting one. It's so weird. Like, and I know there's, there's nothing else in here, but it's like, that's all I got for trade for, um, floppies. It was it was pretty pricey for that too, but it it adds up. But luckily, I had my little card there, so I was able to get them for um, not full price. It's like a 20 percent 20, 20, 20 off. So here is what I got: all three Sweet Tooth books. I just want to make sure it's number two. Cool, yeah. Uh, this is the only one that I have that I that I have that um has the the movie tie-in or TV tie-in cover. This was a series that I was gonna get the compendium of way back when, and I probably should have because I got Resident Alien, the Harley Quinn book, and Ant Man instead, all three of which could have waited. But to be fair, that Ant Man one probably would have been probably would have gone away. Not that it's popular or anything like that. Just because Newberry Comics is known for, you know, not having it. They still have Resident Alien and Har Harley Quinn. So, they have, they have, actually have two copies of Har Harley Quinn. Keep stuttering. And then, the third one. There was a couple more books today. Usually, I, when I go into Newberry, I, I kind of get like, yeah, I'll get this one. And this one I, one I wanted, but I'm never like, oh my god, they have this one. It's usually they have Volume 2. But because they had Suicide Squad, it's because Suicide Squad's coming out. They had a bunch of Suicide Squad trades. There was one I was going to get, but I was like, I don't like that. I didn't like that run of Suicide Squad. I mean, I didn't hate it. And it's actually, it's actually the run that the movie is based off of. But I remember one of, the, one of the issues I was reading was a lot slower than I 
it than they anticipated, so to speak. And I don't hate it. I got, I got a lot of that. I got a lot of that run, but it was like, eh. and also it collected the first eight issues. I think I have two of them. I, I wasn't sure if I had two or three or five or, you know, all of them except for number one. I know we don't have number one and number two. So I was like, you know what? I'm getting Sweet Tooth. Because that, that's one I've wanted for so long. Because the compendium came out, and I was like, oh, damn, I want to get that. And then I was like, you know what? Let's wait till the... Because there, there's the Sweet Tooth Return trade coming out on August 17th. Um, so I wanted to get these, or at least get the full series before that, before the return. Um, before the book came before the book came out. Because I had a lot of money this time around. I was like, you know what? Let's do it. And I got one of these for half off, which was good. Probably the second one. So this one collects is book one. Book one collects one through 11, I want to say. One through 12. First 12 issues for 25 bucks. And this is, wait, is it 25? Yeah, for 25 bucks. And this is the new printing. They have a Suicide Squad one for 12, 12, 12 issues and it's 30 bucks. And that just came out too. It's such fair price, so fair pricing with them. Uh, this one collects 13 to 25. And then this one is 26 to 40. That, I didn't even need to look at it to know. So then they didn't have any, um, to make sure it wasn't an annual. They didn't have any annuals, which is kind of funny. But yeah, all three Sweet Tooths. Um, I would have gotten the Compendium, but the Compendium, I feel like after a while, like, they, these will, these are in good, because it's not that thick. Um, it's not going to wear and tear while I'm reading it. A Compendium, I feel like it will. Like, the Invincible, like, the, uh, Walking, a good example is that Walking Dead Compendium I got from the library. That had a lot of, um, creases, and I think that part of the cover was coming off, like, like, this was coming off, part of that. Um, I would have gotten it from Amazon, but you, you don't even want to know if that condition would come in. Um, I'm gambling for even this, even the tiny-ass six-issue, um, trade from Amazon. So I'm, I'm gonna get it from Amazon, unless I go shopping that week, which is possible, I, I, I would. But Newberry Comics is known for having some new books, new trades, but not others. But yep, I was happy to get this. Um, but I'm just kind of like, I wish that Sweet Tooth, um, that when I got it, when the compendium came out, it had collected the Sweet Tooth, re the return, one through six. Because I would have gotten it right then and there. That was the only reason why I wasn't, why I wasn't going to get it right away, was because, because I'm like, eh, I don't want to. And by the time the return comes out, even if I start reading this, by the time the return comes out, um, I'll be just getting into this. Because I don't like to read them right away. I'm kind of weird like that. I like to wait till the next time I go shopping to get into these. And this is a, this is a good prime example of why. Because it, it, li li limit it limit myself. That way, if I'm really liking this series, which I am, I read the first volume, they didn't, they didn't have any of the others interloaned. They just had the first one, and even that one was just at my local library, like, the actual library itself. Um, so I was like, the hell with it, I'll get it. And plus, they're not, Sweet Tooth the Return is just coming out the August, August 17th. It's gonna take the intro loans six months for it to come out. And by then, I'll be, like, waiting to kill someone to, just to get it, you know? And I, 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 and it's not even, not even a guarantee they're gonna have this, the, the Return Sweet Tooth. So, I was like, you know what, why not? Yeah, the compendium, I feel like, and also the compendium, like, if, if I go away, which I'm not gonna go away from a, for a long time now, like, go away to wh wherever, I'd rather bring one of these than one of the compendiums, you know? Because wh what if I'm 20 issues in, then all I have to do is bring two of these, rather than all three, or or I'm on, I'm on the last one, you know? I think the whole compendium just to read the last 12 issues, that's kind of stupid, kind of annoying, so... Yeah, it was only two bucks because it was buy one get one half off. It was only two bucks above um, the compendium's price, and of course it was more expensive than getting it from Amazon. But like I said before, that's not a good idea for me at least. But yeah, August seventeenth. Be on the lookout for that. I'm, def I'm definitely gonna get it. I'm gonna pre-order it next week because I don't want to pre-order it now. That's kind of stupid. You know, I'd rather pre-order it next week, maybe even next Friday at this time, or Saturday or Sunday. It's coming out Tuesday. Hell, I'll do it Monday. And that's why I do it. That's why I do it Sunday. So next Sunday, I'll probably pre-order it. But yeah, that's it. Small, little, little, little haul, but not like, but, but, 
only because I got the butt. But only because, only because, oh my God, Jesus Christ. Only because I got um, three pretty thick trades and pretty expensive, so, so, sort of expensive trades. It's worth the money, like I said before. I actually thought it would be 30 bucks each. When I found out it was 25, I was like, you know what, let's do the math on that and see if I can afford it. And sure enough, I could. Yep, this will be next. I can't, I can't do it right now, because to do like that is not a good idea. I'm just going to do it like flat, like I, like I usually do. There's bound to be one or two books I forgot for weekly books, but I'm like, what the hell? I got I got Sweet Tooth. It's worth it. Um, but, yeah. I know that Spider-Man life story, not life story. Oh, wait, maybe even that comes out the annual. But I know that um, Spider-Shadow number five of five comes out next week. Or next next week, the following week, which would be, be good because that's why I'm getting Sweet Tooth anyways. Yeah, that's it. 